Hey y'all, I'm Lewis. I'm training to become Final Fantasy XIV's real life Warrior of Light. So in order to do that, I have to build a controller for every class to literally learn how they work. Last time, we built an actual book controller to play the Scholar class and it turned out pretty okay. However, something happened to Final Fantasy XIV that changed the game forever. They released an Animal Crossing mode. And I have some bad news, my game time is about to expand exponentially now. To become the Farmer of Light, I must master the Gathering classes. With the power of 3D printing, I was able to make Joy-Con controllers for each class. So of course in line with using the Minecraft pickaxe, we should start off with the mining class, which is really used to cool the pickaxe forward because it just makes sense, you know, and all that good stuff. Okay, uh, let's start with Botany instead. I was able to modify some Joy-Con holders through a 3D editing program to be able to make it fit on the Minecraft pickaxe. And after a pretty fast print, I used Old Reliable to drill it right into the pickaxe. Once the build was in place, I was now able to attach the Joy-Cons onto the pickaxe. With the Joy-Cons in place, I was able to do some math with the built-in accelerometer to detect when the user swings the pickaxe. So all you have to do in Final Fantasy XIV is find a node and get the pickaxe ready. Oh, I did it too fast. A? A! Okay. It works. <laughs> and if you don't turn on the auto gathering option, this simple method turns into a mini workout. A quick side note, but this build also works in Minecraft, and man, I don't know how Steve does it. If I played Minecraft like this for a week, I'd be so buff at the end of it. Oh my god. Up next is the fishing class, and it uses my favorite Joy-Con controller ever made, the fishing rod controller. There's no 3D printing for this one, but the setup is simple and clean as you just place the controls in it and use the reel. To start fishing, hold down the ZL button and do a casting motion. Once you get a bite, start reeling it in with the right Joy-Con. This wouldn't be a Super Lewis 64 build if there wasn't a catch to it. To cast the fish, you have to reel it in really fast. However, if you don't reel fast enough, you will fail to cast the fish. Something that's supposed to be really chill a game has become one of the most stressful things I've ever made. Last but not least, I turned a butterfly net into a specific controller for the island sanctuary. This was a really fun build because I actually had the problem solve and create a 3D print for the net itself. On the island sanctuary, you can use this net to capture your next farm animal. Here goes nothing. Excuse me, sir? Not again. You're not getting me twice. <laughs> what do you mean? This will work. This will work. Well, every hero needs a break from saving the world, and the Iron Sanctuary is a pretty good one. I'd say we did a really good job with making our gathering controllers today. And honestly, I think I now understand what it's like to be a farmer in Final Fantasy XIV.